Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this particular series, we are looking into the concept of truth table and how to implement different type of implementation in truth table. As we have seen in the last tutorial, we can have initial actions or the final action in a truth table and the concept related to the same is covered in the previous video. In this video, we will look into the implementation of initial action in a truth table and verification of the same using the initial condition, initial action, so using the initial action. So let's get started. Before going into the concept, as we can see, this is our action table and this is our decision table. Here, we will be adding some more points to have some initial actions so that we can see it outside the state chart so to do that we need to append the new column and uh, that column we will mention as init initialization column the first column we will be mentioning as initialization column and uh, there we will be mentioning the initial actions okay so here we can uh, type initial or init init colon then the corresponding action that we will be implementing based on this so the initial action that we will be implementing is zz equal to zero so here zz we need to mention as uh, a variable for the truth table so we need to go to the model explorer click on the truth table add a new data which will be zz equal to the output so we need to mention is at the output of the truth table now if we go out here you can see we have an additional output which is the zz variable and this we need to map it to the corresponding function call so here also now we need to add one more variable which will uh, it represents the um, initial condition uh, or initial action that we are going to implement and that we can verify so let's update the variable so you can see there is two outcome so we need to click on the chart and then we need to add one more variable which will represent the outcome of the initialization which will be out underscore two and this we will be representing as the output variable from the state chart so that we can verify it let's duplicate the display block and uh, add it to the second out variable or port now let's go inside and update this particular uh, outcome expectation so we will be mentioning this as out to okay and now we will try to simulate this particular chart with the truth table implemented so as you can see here we have zz equal to zero at the initialization step so that is how we are getting this uh, out to equal to zero if we change the uh, decision again now we are getting again the same value because the initialization is not being interrupted with any other variable the zz variable is not uh, interrupted by any other variable so that's why you are getting like this so let's uh, do some changes and uh, see um, if we add it to the other decisions like decision 2 or a1 which is the decision one and here we need to keep it as one then what we, what is happening so let's now simulate the model again and with the initial fault with two sensor being fault uh, we are taking the decision now this will go to the decision one because uh, as you can already see uh, the there is only one fault in the sensor so that's why it is going to the decision one so here you can see that uh, the sensor one is being faulty and sensor three is being faulty and because of that um, we are getting the out as one now if we simulate this then we are getting the out as out two as two okay so due to this uh, like only initialization happened and now uh, once the initialization being happened then it is not being uh, changed by any other action uh, the zz variable so that's why you are getting it as zero now let's remove the fault from last tensor now this is the fault one and now um, like the fault one only is there so that's why because of that uh, you are getting this uh, as one because in the uh, action one which is related to the fault one uh, is uh, mentioning that zz should be equal to one then uh, that is the reason it is one so this is how you can implement um, initial conditions in 
uh, your truth table and uh, you can uh, perform uh, initial actions while calling your truth table and when it is being called based on the decisions also the actions will be taken along with that initial actions will also be taken which may be required for some implementation in case you are liking the channel please consider subscribing in case uh, you have any comment or query please let us know in the comment section it will help us to improve your experience of learning matlab in this channel have a great day ahead